glad to meet you again at your favorite channel which is active as promised today we are going to share knowledge on unique selling proposition or else usp and emotional selling proposition or else you call it esp as well as competitive advantage and the basic concepts of branding what is your unique selling proposition once you once you hear this word unique selling proposition what comes to your mind it is about something which is head and shoulders above your competitor in providing customer value and what benefits that you offer to the consumer than the competitor so that provides you with the answer for unique selling proposition to identify your usp or the unique selling proposition you need to put yourself inside maybe in customer shoes so in order to know your usps you should ask these questions from you as a customer what do i need or want what problems do i need this product or service to solve what do i expect from this product or service what benefits do i get from it lastly why should i choose this one over other competing offers as an example your keywords can be one of your usps together with your experience in the landing page landing web page that can be again one of your usps as well to straight to be straightforward usp of coca cola what could it be that can be the taste the taste of coca cola is a usp for that brand the quality of your content and the interactivity of your digital platforms can be another usp as well we all know about emotions as humans what are the emotions we like most it can be love it can be tender reliability safety and etc how can you map these emotions into your brand product or service for an example if you take the brand of volvo the emotional and selling proposition for esp for volvo it can be safety and reliability and my favorite example which i have taken earlier as well the coca cola young and fun will be coca cola's emotional selling proposition for your digital brand how can you include these emotional selling propositions so let's say you have facebook you have linkedin you have instagram and you have your landing page that means your web page how can you make emotions to appeal how how can you make the emotional appeal in your uh, website sometimes so you can make use of emojis you can make use of artificial intelligence you can make use of like uh, augmented reality concepts so you can make use of those things as well so for an example you can enable the customers to send you emotions through sending feedback to emojis what are the questions you should ask about your organization to know your esps or emotional selling propositions what if your brand was a person if active was a person it can be a trusted partner for digital knowledge sharing the second question you should ask is what are the emotions communicated by your symbols or taglines once you see the uber logo what comes to your mind it's about taxi uber eats maybe taxi on your fingertips the last one all before the last one what is the relationship you have with the customers have you analyzed your comments shares likes and ratings is it healthy by analyzing these facts over time you can identify your emotional selling proposition what do you mean by competitive advantage let me have a cup of tea sip of tea maybe let me ask you this what is so special about google compared to other search engines like ask baidu yahoo and other search engine result pages as you know maybe you can google it and search again google holds more than 75% of the market share because of their competitive advantage now that has been maintained over a long period of time so that has become a sustainable competitive advantage again now what has driven google's competitive advantage to be sustainable so you know about their crawling and indexing mechanisms and you know how complex or how uh, unique is their search engine algorithms so it is hard for someone to crack on those things because of that it has been a it is going to be or it has already been a competitive advantage for google 
In answering the question related to competitive advantage, it is a way in which the organization can satisfy customer needs better than its rival to earn above average profits. How can you identify your competitive advantage? To be competitive advantage, to be a competitive advantage, it has to be according to following criterion. So let's discuss about that following criterion in detail right now. How can you identify your competitive advantage? To be a competitive advantage, it has to fulfill below criterion. It should be valuable. It should be able to enhance the organization business model through making either customer value proposition or operating model more efficient or effective. Secondly, it has to be rare. Only few organizations in the market control the resource or have the capability. Coming up with another taxi app will not be rare, whereas developing an app to provide instant loan can be rare. Next, it has to be inimitable. It is hard for someone to copy your product or service formula. It is very much hard for you to analyze how Google changes their search algorithms. Lastly, it is non-substitutable. If there are no equivalent alternatives, then the resource or capability would pass this final test. However, it is difficult to know what customer would perceive as an acceptable substitute. Virgin Galactic Service can be an example on this. Since we talked about USPs, what do you mean by USP? That's our unique selling proposition. ESPs, which is our emotional selling propositions and competitive advantage as well. I think it's B of complex right now because if I told you or if I speak to you with regard to the basic concepts of branding, it will be somewhat more to you. So I thought in the next knowledge spark or in the future knowledge spark, I'll be discussing in more detail with regard to branding concepts. Now you know the way of identifying a unique selling proposition for your brand and you know the way of identifying emotional link center proposition for the brand or ESP as well as you know how the Google's theories and practical application has been enabled them to uh, develop the sustainable competitive advantage. And in the next knowledge spark, I'll be talking about the branding concepts and how you can apply these USPs and ESPs and the concepts of competitive advantage through all digital platforms. One last question for you to think about. Let me have one last sip of tea before answering that question or putting you that question. I feel that aroma in this tea, so that can be a unique selling proposition for this tea. And it makes me very fresh and it makes me warmth. So it's about the emotional selling proposition. So what is the competitive advantage? The country of origin of this tea. So it can be from anywhere in the country, anywhere in the world. So that country of origin can be a competitive advantage and the manufacturing practices as well. Okay. I'll ask you that question. So what do you mean by brand identity and brand image? Do you think those are the same? I don't think those are the same. So you will be having a gap between brand identity and the brand image. So do you think the brand identity and the brand image gap can be avoided? So I'll provide you a comprehensive answer for that in the next knowledge spark. So I am enjoying this cup of tea with ESP, USP and competitive advantage. So I'll come with some other concepts like branding which is mapped to T as well in the next knowledge spark. Till we meet again at ArcTube, your favorite channel, wish you a fabulous digital day. If you like this video and want to see more by ArcTube, make sure you subscribe to our channel by clicking the subscribe button.